How's it going guys? Lucas here. Let me introduce you to the new LBT Crew updates. As you can see the interface changed quite a bit and you can see down here is a new function which is animated geometry. I won't go over all the default settings that you have here. I think they're quite self-explanatory and you can also check the first tutorial I released. Uh, the interface might look a little different but the functions are all still the same. Um, so you can still just grow along whatever geometry you put in as a collision geometry and go from there. The new thing we have now is that you can actually import input animated geometry, which for example is this flower here, as you can see. Um, it's total normal geometry, nothing packed or anything. Uh, it's just centered on zero. That is quite important actually. Um, that you do that, but from here you just plug it into the animated geo output and you can see straight away that I have flowers scattered all over my object and if I play this animation you can see that they start growing uh, one after another with time offset actually so they depend on the age of the, the, the growing line so uh, after a certain time they start growing on that line and you can use the offset max and minimum to adjust that time offset. So if you, you put all of that on, on zero, they start at zero H. Um, but if you offset that animation, of course, depending on how much animation you actually have, um, they will start uh, by an offset based on the age. So you can see the younger ones start growing later. Um, and you also have an amount threshold that just deletes random points basically. So if I go for more, um, and you can see I have a lot more flowers go growing here now. Um, and as all of these are getting packed inside, it's actually quite decent performance wise. You can see they of course intersect because that's a lot of them now. Um, I'm planning to implement some intersection stuff in there, but that will make everything a bit more heavy. So um might also just be an additional thing you can plug in or something like that but we will we will see in the future but yeah you can see i can uh remove as many as i want and copy as many as i want and they are getting all packed and those instances are getting offset inside of the solver so you will have packed geometry which also uh, renders and redshift, renders and mantra, renders and Arnold, I believe as well. Um, there should be no issue. So if I if I check this output here, you can see I have uh, 95 pack geos. Um, they all come with the shader you applied here, and yeah, you could do some material stuff uh, to variant those as well um, if you wanted to. But yeah, it's as easy as that. Um, to get some offset on new instances, which is not straightforward to do, but with this one, is it, it is straightforward to do. So I really hope, hope you enjoyed this update. Let me know if, if anything breaks um, or you need other features. I also fixed the bugs. So if you don't connect any of these geometries, it still works, it doesn't break anymore, which it did before. So that, that is fixed as well. Yeah, that's it from me. Enjoy, have fun and see you in the next one. Peace.